I'm Aiden Livingston from Call to Action, and this is Beth Cantor from BethCantor.org. So your upcoming book, uh, Measuring the Network Nonprofit, tell me about that. Okay, so um, it's a sequel, in a, in a sense, to my first book, which mm -hmm. was The Network Nonprofit, which was really about culture change from the inside out of nonprofits and their ability to sort of embrace this connected way of working, you know, which includes using social media. And so uh, the second book is about how do you measure um, uh, the results of being a network nonprofit. So I was really honored to team up with Katie Payne, who is known as the goddess of measurement uh, in communications and social media. And so we worked at taking her measurement frameworks and adapting them for, for nonprofits. And so there's a section in the book about basic measurement and then also measuring things that are new, like how do you measure the effectiveness of your network? How do you measure transparency? How do you measure the results of crowdsourcing? So those mm. were sort of some of the sort of advanced measurement topics. And um, in my role as visiting scholar at the David and Lucille Packard Foundation, um, I've been there for several years. Over the last year while we were developing the book, I was also leading um, three different peer groups of 60 grantees who were testing the frameworks in real time. So I would sort of roll out a chapter and they would test it and come back and say, this really works well, or this doesn't. And then those um, grantees help provide some of the key studies that are in the book. Mm. So each chapter starts out with kind of a story, a framework, uh, a measurement framework, and then broadening the lens to lots of practical ways to um, start to implement measurement. Why do you like that term more? Okay, so it's really two terms, measurement and learning. It's, you know, it's not just about data and collecting data. It's really about, and this is the fun part, using that data <laughs> to generate insights and to make decisions to improve um, your results. Mm -hmm. And so, there's, so it's that whole cycle of measurement from you know, setting, figuring out what it is that you want to achieve, identifying the audience, um, coming up with your measurement plan, which it actually can be exciting. You, you know, I've turned around, I found religion from it. Um, <laughs> and collecting your data, and then actually analyzing it, visualizing it, and then applying it to decision making, and then improving. So it's sort of this continuous improvement cycle. And so that, to me, that was the most powerful part of the book. What so are the critical things you think that uh, organizations should be measuring? We, we, we talked about this endlessly <laughs> because you know, before your organiza organizations could do this, you know, it's a culture thing. And, and so we, I kept on hearing this term data-driven, data-driven, and I kept on kind of feeling like that wasn't the right term. Because you could be driven by your data, but it could be the wrong data. Mm -hmm. Or data-driven kind of implies that, well, you're not bringing your wisdom to it and other information and other decisions. So we came up with this term data-informed. So, so what does it mean for a nonprofit to have a data-informed culture? And so before we even get there, there's some cultural changes. And so I'm, I'm actually going to do an exercise um, around this. It's what stage of measurement acceptance is your organization? And there's five stages, with apologies to Kubler ross So they're <laughs> in denial, and it ain't a river in Egypt. OK, so that's like, we can't measure our social media. It's an art form. <laughs> Um, then there's the fear stage, which is, oh my God, if we measure our social media, what if we, we find we're not getting results? You know, will, will the, the higher ups say, don't do it anymore, or will I get fired, or oh gee, I'll have failed. So that's the fear stage. And then comes confusion. It's like, I know I need to be measuring, and it can kind of be good, but I have no idea where to start. Um, then the next step is kind of, I call it data delight. Want to see my graphs and charts? <laughs> Let me do another pie chart. And so that's people who are like collecting the data, but they're not making sense of it. And then there is like da uh, data informed, where you're actually going through that whole cycle. So I've been doing this exercise. I did it in Amman. I actually had people line up in the room according to where they felt they were in the cycle. And, um, and I could say so far, even in other countries, people are in all different stages. All right, uh, so Beth Cantor, thanks so much for taking the time to talk with us and uh, looking forward to reading uh, Measuring the Network Nonprofit coming using, out. Using data to drive social change. <laughs> using data to drive, oh, that's the tagline for it? Yeah, that's I the like that, that's a good. And Something when does like the book that. come out? October. October, I'm looking forward to it already.